Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys if you have a BMW guys 1 series and you're trying to find the symptoms of leaking fuel injectors. Make sure you stay until the end guys and we're going to demonstrate how to find, okay, and how to and what are the symptoms of uh, leaking fuel injector and how they can destroy your engine. So make sure you stay until the end. We'll share two reasons that can actually guys uh, okay, two symptoms that can destroy your engine, so make sure you stay until the end. Now, if you need to buy any parts, tools, uh, fuel injectors for your BMW 1 Series, anything like that, check out guys the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and parts from. Number two guys, every single car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 free repair videos. Why we do that? Uh, because our mission here in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information guys. So, specifically Specifically, we have a six-cylinder engine, but even if you have a four-cylinder gasoline engine, guys, the procedure will be practically the same. If you have a newer BMW 1 Series with direct fuel injections, uh, direct fuel injectors, guys, the, the symptoms of leaking fuel injectors will be the same. Doesn't matter if you have direct or non-direct fuel injectors. And before we start, let me tell you something, guys. Check this channel out. How to repair, guys. We have helped, guys, more than 75 million people, guys. We have information that can save you thousands of dollars on future car repairs, so definitely, guys, check it out if you have a car. We're constantly putting content that can save you so, so much money. Now, that being said, this is, guys, a fuel injector. Most of the times, if you have non-direct fuel injectors, they'll be installed on a fuel rail. It's kind of like a tube, fuel of gasoline, and they connect to right here, and every uh, injector gets gasoline that way. If you guys have a direct fuel injection, you will have a high-pressure fuel pump that will deliver the fuel to the uh, fuel injectors. That being said, guys, okay, what is a leaking injector? In uh, injector that leaks, guys, means that it doesn't close all the way. It stays open, maybe it just barely drips a little bit of fuel. Maybe, guys, it's just leaking fuel all the time because it doesn't close all the way and it's pretty much like spraying fuel. So, what can cause that now? Okay, it could be dirty injector, it could be malfunctioning injector, it could be something that's stuck inside. But the symptoms of your leaking fuel injector, guys, number one, you will notice probably engine misfire. You may get an engine light on and code for engine misfire. If the engine misfire is really bad and you have a big uh, fuel injector leak, that can cause your spark plug to get wet, it will not function correctly and you will get engine misfire. Let's say you have a leaking fuel injector on cylinder number four, okay, you will get a misfire for cylinder number four and the code will be something such as P0304. The last digit of the code corresponds to the cylinder number and the fuel injector number. Now, because of that uh, misfire, guys, you may notice rough idle because one cylinder may not be working correctly guys so that's very common as well symptom number two symptom number three guys that rough idle and cylinder not running correctly can cause engine vibrations you can see you can feel the whole car kind of like vibrating and that can lead to loss of power guys okay decreased horsepower and increased fuel consumption your car will be burning more fuel because one cylinder will not be running as a result, you will be losing more fuel from the injector, so you will notice increased fuel consumption, big time. Now, that can lead to something else, guys. When your fuel injector is putting more fuel than it should, okay, that fuel will not burn correctly, or it will not burn at all if you have a misfire, and it will go to, okay, your gas will go to the uh, oxygen sensor in the exhaust manifold. The oxygen sensor will detect that you have too much gasoline and not enough air in the mixture, and as a result, you will get a cold that your car is running rich, okay, rich mixture. This is because it's spraying more fuel than it should. Now, okay, if you have bad fuel injector, fix it, guys. Why? Because if it's leaking, okay, if it keeps leaking, that gasoline, when you don't drive the car, will make its way around the piston rings. And as a result, it will end up in the oil pan all the way to the bottom of the engine. The gasoline will mix with oil, the oil will get really thin, will not lubricate good, and that can completely destroy your engine. Crankshaft bearings, rod bearings, piston rings, cylinder head, guys, everything can be destroyed. Another thing, it can put so much fuel in your engine oil that the oil level will go up and it can go to the point that okay, can cause damage to the engine as well. Another thing, if it's leaking really, really bad, guys, you can start putting so much oil in your cylinder, and especially when you don't drive the car, and if that, uh, so much fuel in the cylinder, and if that fuel cannot go around the piston rings fast enough, that fuel will stay in the cylinder. And as a result, guys, okay, when you try to start your car, that fuel will not be able to compress, and you can hydrolock your engine. You can 
brake connecting rod, bed connecting rod that way, so that can completely destroy your engine too. We have a video on the channel coming very soon how to actually test for uh, leaking fuel injectors. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful. If you have any questions, let us know. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.